Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a wonderful holiday, Christmas, New Year period and that you have had a wonderful start to 2020. Today I'm going to be showing you a comprehensive tutorial of how I do my multiple cut creases. This method isn't something that I usually use just because I'm comfortable with the spacing of my lid. However, I feel it's a good guide to map out your eyelid space for looks like this one. Using a brow pencil, you're going to want to draw a line underneath your eyebrow. I go from the start of my brow to the tail in an S kind of shape. You can probably see where the shadow stained my lid, but basically where that staining is, is where you're going to be wanting to put your eyeshadow. Obviously not in that exact spot only, but the whole way in between the bottom of that line and your brow. Next, I'm doing a very oversized half cut crease shape, which stops at the bottom of the S shape, but only halfway across my eye. This then gives us another area that we are able to put shadow in. I did kind of stuff this part up. You will see in a clip later on that I do actually adjust this, but the kind of idea is there. And then finally, you're gonna to wanna to map out a normal full cut crease shape. You can see with the line I drew before this one, I didn't leave much room, but again, I think you get the idea. I thought I'd pop in my four favorite brushes for doing small blends like these. So the first one is the Morphe M506 brush, which I don't actually use in this tutorial, but it's my holy grail blending brush. The second is the ColourPop E12 brush, which is a very, very precise bullet brush. It doesn't blend shadows, but it's definitely a great brush for packing them on. The next is the Morphe E36 brush, which does a similar job to the ColourPop E12 brush. However, it blends the edges just a bit more, which means is a great precise blending brush as well. And finally, the Morphe M213 brush, which is this tiny shader brush. It packs and blends shadows, but gives more precision than any of the others I've previously mentioned, so it is a great all-rounder brush. So onto the tutorial. I'm dipping into A3 from the Norvina Volume 1 palette, and I'm placing a dot underneath my eyebrow using the E12 brush. I lightly buff the edges with this brush too, just so that I can blend the next colour into it. Then using B3 from the Norvina Volume 3 palette and the same brush, I'm stamping the colour around the purple shade. I do the same thing with all of the other colours that I show you, basically using the same brush and I'm packing instead of swiping or using circular motions and then only using circular motions very very lightly around the edges just so that it can blend the next color into them without any lines or you know how you get the dark lines around the shadow sometimes if they're not blended properly i find just going around the edges ensures that that doesn't really happen so we're sticking with the same palette we're using the norvina volume 3 palette and we're dipping into a1 this time and i'm using the morphe 213 brush so this one requires a little different technique. I do the same thing, I pat it on, but then I kind of swipe it. Then I'm going into my favorite Be Perfect Carnival XL Pro palette. It's the big one. Um, and as you can see, I'm using the same brush again. The secret to getting the most pigmentation for my eyeshadows and getting as good blend as I possibly can, I will use the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer or I will use the Makeup Revolution Concealer but I will use a moisturizer with it because I find it is slightly too drying on its own. The brush I use for my cut crease is the Morphe M224 brush. So you wanna go under the line that you've done, cut the crease as you normally would a normal cut crease, I'm doing the exact same thing again, just doing it on the side of my nose bridge slash inner portion of my crease, if that makes any sense. And I'm also using the Norvina Volume 1 palette and the shade A2 to finish out the blend. I didn't really want to use too dark of a purple, so I thought this was a good kind of lightish purple. Either using this micellar water or the oil one which is the blue one with the blue oil on top i will use this paintbrush i think i got from amazon and i will carve out the crease using that brush and the micellar water
I will never set it with any translucent powder, but I will go back in with a clean flat brush and I will go over the wet concealer just to dry it down. Again, I am doing the exact same thing as I did all the way through. I didn't really want to go over these steps again and again just because they become really repetitive. And then for lashes, I'm using the Tati Lashes in TL6. These have a smaller inner corner compared to the outer corner, so they give you that cat eye effect, which I think pairs wonderfully with any winged out shadow, such as the look we've just done. So I hope you found that somewhat helpful. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like me to go through, anything you'd like me to go through again. I have a couple of videos in the pipeline that I just need to edit. Um, truth be told, I absolutely hate editing, so this is why it takes me so long, but I am making such an effort this year to get properly into YouTube so that I have another platform that I'm able to share my creativity and also my techniques that I picked up along the way. So please let me know if there's anything you'd like to see in the comments. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so